Electronic trading, sometimes called as trading, is a method of trading securities, foreign exchange or financial derivatives electronically. Information technology is used to bring together buyers and sellers through an electronic trading platform and network to create virtual marketplaces. They can include various exchange-based systems, such as NASDAQ, New York Stock Exchange Arca and Globex, as well as other types of trading platforms such as electronic communication networks, alternative trading systems, crossing networks and dark pools. Electronic trading is rapidly replacing human trading in global securities markets. Electronic trading is in contrast to older floor trading and phone trading and has a number of advantages, but glitches and cancelled trades do still occur. History for many years stock exchanges were physical locations where buyers and sellers met and negotiated. Exchange trading would typically happen on the floor of an exchange, where traders in brightly colored jackets would shout and gesticulate at one another a euro a process known as open outcry or pit trading. With the improvement in communications technology in the late 20th century, the need for a physical location became less important and traders started to transact from remote locations in what became known as electronic trading. Electronic trading made transactions easier to complete, monitor, clear, and settle and this helped spur on its development. One of the earliest examples of widespread electronic trading was on Globex, the CME Group a Euro unregistered trademark S electronic trading platform conceived in 1987 and launched fully in 1992. This allowed access to a variety of financial markets such as treasuries, foreign exchange and commodities. The Chicago Board of Trade produced a rival system that was based on Oak Trading Systems a Euro unregistered trademark Oak platform branded a Euro e open outcry a Euro unregistered trademark an electronic trading platform that allowed for trading to take place alongside that took place in the CBOT pits. Set up in 1971, NASDAQ was the world's first electronic stock market, though it originally operated as an electronic bulletin board, rather than offering straight-through processing. By 2011 investment firms on both the buy side and sell side were increasing their spending on technology for electronic trading with the result that many floor traders and brokers were removed from the trading process. Traders also increasingly started to rely on algorithms to analyze market conditions and then execute their orders automatically. The move to electronic trading compared to floor trading continued to increase with many of the major exchanges around the world moving from floor trading to completely electronic trading. Trading in the financial markets can broadly be split into two groups. Business to business trading, often conducted on exchanges, where large investment banks and brokers trade directly with one another, transacting large amounts of securities, and business to consumer trading, where retail and institutional clients buy and sell from brokers or dealers, who act as middlemen between the clients and the B2B markets. While the majority of retail trading in the United States happens over the Internet, retail trading volumes are dwarfed by institutional, inter-dealer and exchange trading. However, in developing economies, especially in Asia, retail trading constitutes a significant portion of overall trading volume. For instruments which are not exchange traded, the inter-dealer market substitutes for the exchange. This is where dealers trade directly with one another or through inter-dealer brokers. This type of trading traditionally took place over the phone but brokers moved to offering electronic trading services instead. Similarly, B2C trading traditionally happened over the phone and, while some still does, more brokers are allowing their clients to place orders using electronic systems. Many retail brokers went online during the late 1990s and most retail stockbroking probably takes place over the web now. Larger institutional clients, however, will generally place electronic orders via proprietary electronic trading platforms such as Bloomberg Terminal, Reuters 3000 Extra, Thomson Reuters Econ, Bonds Pro, Thomson Trade Web or Candeal, or using their broker's proprietary software. For stock trading, the process of connecting counterparties through electronic trading is supported by the Financial Information Exchange Protocol. Used by the vast majority of exchanges and traders, the FIX protocol is the industry standard for pre-trade messaging and trade execution. 
While the FIX protocol was developed for trading stocks, it has been further developed to accommodate commodities, foreign exchange, derivatives, and fixed income trading. Impact The increase of electronic trading has had some important implications, reduced cost of transactions a euro by automating as much of the process as possible, costs are brought down. The goal is to reduce the incremental cost of trades as close to zero as possible, so that increased trading volumes don't lead to significantly increased costs. This has translated to lower costs for investors. Greater liquidity A Euro electronic systems make it easier to allow different companies to trade with one another, no matter where they are located. This leads to greater liquidity which increases the efficiency of the markets. Greater competition A Euro while electronic trading hasn't necessarily lowered the cost of entry to the financial services industry, it has removed barriers within the industry and had a globalization-style competition effect. For example, a trader can trade futures on Arex, Globex or LIFFE at the click of a button a euro he or she doesn't need to go through a broker or pass orders to a trader on the exchange floor. Increased transparency a euro electronic trading has meant that the markets are less opaque. It's easier to find out the price of securities when that information is flowing around the world electronically. Tighter spreads a euro The spread on an instrument is the difference between the best buying and selling prices being quoted. It represents the profit being made by the market makers. The increased liquidity, competition and transparency means that spreads have tightened, especially for commoditized, exchange-traded instruments. For retail investors, financial services on the web offer great benefits. The primary benefit is the reduced cost of transactions for all concerned as well as the ease and the convenience. Web-driven financial transactions bypass traditional hurdles such as logistics. Technology and systems Electronic trading systems are typically proprietary software, running on COTS hardware and operating systems, often using common underlying protocols, such as TCPIP. Exchanges typically develop their own systems, although sometimes an exchange will use another exchange's technology, and some newer electronic exchanges use third-party specialist software providers. Exchanges and ECNs generally offer two methods of accessing their systems a euro, an exchange-provided GUI, which the trader runs on his or her desktop and connects directly to the exchange ECN, and, an API which allows dealers to plug their own in-house systems directly into the exchange ECNs. From an infrastructure point of view, most exchanges will provide gateways, which sit on a company's network, acting in a manner similar to a proxy, connecting back to the exchange's central system. ECNs will generally forego the gateway proxy, and their GUI or the API will connect directly to a central system, across a leased line. Many brokers develop their own systems, although there are some third-party solutions providers specializing in this area. Like ECNs, brokers will often offer both a GUI and an API, and connectivity is typically direct to the broker's systems, rather than through a gateway. Investment banks and other dealers have far more complex technology requirements, as they have to interface with multiple exchanges, brokers and multi-dealer platforms, as well as their own pricing, P&L, trade processing and position-keeping systems. Some banks will develop their own electronic trading systems in-house, but this can be costly, especially when they need to connect to many exchanges, ECNs and brokers. There are a number of companies offering solutions in this area. Algorithmic trading Some electronic trades are not planned or executed by human traders, but by complex algorithms. See also, e-commerce, electronic trading platform, electronic communication network, stock market data systems, straight through processing, trading room, 2010 flash crash, e-trading in Pakistan. References External links